Hi, my name is Joe Darcy and I am a game developer from Hereford in the UK. I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Science in Computer Games Programming at the University of Gloucestershire. For my third year, I'm undertaking a self-directed placement year. This is the first devlog in a series that will cover the development of a new game from day one to release over the coming year. The aim is to release the game on Steam and itch.io at the beginning of July 2023. My influences as a gamer and game developer are wide ranging, but some of the key games that inspired me to get into development in the first place are the Soulsborne series, particularly Bloodborne for its fast paced combat and emphasis on aggressive playstyles. FTL Faster Than Light, which has a strong focus on tactical turn-based combat, and the Zaktronics games such as Infinifactory and TIS 100, which really stretch my problem-solving skills. I have been developing games for the past five years and I have released a number of projects on itch.io over the past two years. These projects include game jam submissions, university projects and pet projects. I've worked on platformers, turn-based games, 2D and 3D games, shooters, puzzle games and more. By exploring these different genres of games, I've been able to build up a decent understanding of my strengths and weaknesses as a developer. This has helped me to figure out exactly what kind of game I want to focus on for the next year. With support from my university and fellow developers on my course, and within various game jam and development communities, I hope to be able to create an exciting game that will be fun and engaging to play. The title of this project is Space Time, and it revolves around spending time in space. Clever, right? You play as a lowly technician aboard a mostly AI-controlled ship. Your mission is to help your ship explore the space we have not yet been able to observe due to it being obscured by the gas and dust and light from our own Milky Way galaxy. You will achieve this by helping to manufacture and release von Neumann probes at regular intervals throughout your journey. These self-replicating probes will go forth and spread new probes across the space they are released into, exploring and mapping that space. Finally, they will report their findings back to Earth via Deep Net Bank System, a deep space relay satellite. You must also defend your ship from hostile encounters with alien life forms, help navigate around black holes, avoid pulsar beams that could wipe out your ship, and more. Your ship AI will communicate with you through voice commands, and you can reply in kind, giving the ship orders and accessing new information about the ship and the surrounding space. If you or your ship are critically damaged, it's important that you get back to your cryotube in order to jump back in time to a previous safe space. If you don't manage to get back to your cryotube in time, then that's it. Game over. You'll have to start your mission right from the start. In the final week of this month, I started to pull together all the best ideas I'd developed into one scene and start to see how the game could incorporate them. This process has been really interesting and given me the chance to play around with lots of new ideas and interesting techniques. It also helped me to feel a new sense of excitement about the project and what it could be in the future and how the player could interact with the ship and their broader environment. Future plans for this project include developing a playable demo by the end of the second month ready to be released on itch.io for free for all of you to play and give feedback on. I'm excited to hear from you about what you do and don't like about the project so far. I'm looking forward to making adjustments based on the feedback I receive from you all, so I will potentially be creating a quick survey to go along with each update of the demo so that you can give me more detailed feedback about the project's strengths and weaknesses. It may also be possible to bring this project to VR on the Oculus Quest 2. So if that's something that excites you, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I look forward to having you all back here next month for the next installment of the series. Please feel free to drop a comment down below or any questions you may have and I will get back to you. Bye for now.